Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you get to play a capitalistic Dr. Bastard who only treats people if they have the appropriate funds in order to pay him off. It's You May Live. More malpractice suits, damn it. In You May Live, you play a young doctor who went to Zig Ziglar's school of business and medicine. People will come to you with various problems and will give you a lot of money. And you have to decide whether or not you're going to treat them or not. If you don't treat them, they die. If you do treat them, they still might be psychopaths and kill everyone that's inside of your hospital. Should you try and be as moral as possible and help everyone, you won't have the money to continue to run your hospital and everyone dies anyway. I don't have any morals, so we're gonna go ahead and take the people that pay us the most money. And if we do come across a psychopath, I'll probably let them in just to see what happens. I also kind of want to know what happens if you just refuse everyone. I might do that last. This gentleman says he's a diabetic, but our test wasn't positive. He still wants to be treated. He's giving us 11 bucks, so you know what? You're good. Catherine Rain developed her asthma because of a hard rupture with her husband who was cheating on her. Catherine, I've got bad news for you. You have to have at least two fivers to get in here. Also, is this like a Ferris wheel on our money? I'm getting paid in Ferris wheel money and Mentos. Rejected. This guy's name, Donut? The plague? He said his brother will come pay in some days. It's your choice to trust him or not. If I turn him away, will his brother still be coming with the money? If you want charity, you came to the wrong hospital. Also, it looks like he's wearing a cloak that is smeared in human fecal material. You're not coming in my place. Christoph Llama? Chlamydia? He is known by the local police as a troublemaker. Hold on, if I let this guy in here, will he pass it around my clinic? For the purposes of science, this is gonna be the one time I take someone with a low income. Gaylord D has schizophrenia. One of our colleagues asked us to take care of him for some time. It might be risky. I don't know if that's a beard or if that is Hannibal Lecter's face guard. It's probably Hannibal Lecter's face guard. That's probably the entrails of other people that's staining his inmate suit. Needless to say though, there's two crisp fibers on the desk, which means you're coming right in. Frank Lawrence. He needs an arm amputation. He was hurt by shrapnel and his arm went infected. His prayers did nothing. Frank, I want you to know something. While your prayers may have done nothing, your money will absolutely fix this problem. All right, guys, we got plenty of beds open here. I need more people to come in with big stacks. Philip Royal has an open chest wound. This boy has been brought by his older brother. I'm not even sure we can save him. Who's making this determination? Me or like a manservant? Philip, you've got green eyes. But what I needed to see was green money. Gabe discovered heroin after his wife died in a car accident. If you didn't spend all your money on heroin, you'd have more money to pay for treatment. Yulia was a dancer back in the days, but she discovered a, pass a passion for tourism. This is the strangest backstory I've ever heard. We're getting kind of desperate for patients. I never thought that the income levels would be so low in this town. I'll take you because there needs to be someone around for my schizophrenic guy to talk to. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. He's coming for his brother, who is already hospitalized here. He is paying for him. Oh, you mean the brother that I turned away. You can absolutely still take his money though. Congratulations, Roland. Your brother didn't die in vain. You're keeping this place afloat. Sammy Colby has schizophrenia as well. His schizophrenia makes him see ghost and talk to his dog. You know what's better than one schizophrenic inside of your trauma ward? Two schizophrenics. Agot has chicken pox. He said that he's paying for both him and his wife. She comes right after him, so I could just take him and reject her. I do appreciate you being up front with your 15 bucks. Eliza has Alzheimer's. She was abandoned by her family and requires medical attention until our colleague comes to get her. She's also paying very well. I'm hoping that's her like white hair and not half of her skull showing. If it is her skull showing, she's only playing for Alzheimer's, not for head trauma. So I'm not gonna lie, being a dick makes you a lot of money. Had a heart attack, says the war made him accumulate stress and cholesterol that led to a heart attack. I feel like at this point, just everyone's blaming the war for everything. I'm waiting for some dude to come in and be like, I need to get this stiletto surgically removed from my knee because of my wife who put it there for me cheating on her due to the war. This is gonna be the new tagline for all the people. It's gonna be the war made me do it. It's too bad that your heart is only worth $5. Nope. Open wound. He took a lost Bueller in the knee? What the hell's a lost Bueller? 
I mean, it could be Bullet? It could be Butler. I told you we're blaming everything on the war at this point. All he was doing was providing help to the stricken. What kind of help? He looks like my FedEx guy. You may live, because not everyone gets a lost Ferris Bueller to the knee. Anto must be amputated and healed or he won't last long. The war hit this guy so hard, he's got like a bluebird growing out of his arm. It's Moretta. She has the- Oh, this is the lady. She came with her husband. He paid for her treatment. You can still refuse though. I'm surprised that this game has to remind you of this. Merida, I'm very sorry, but the reason that our clinic manages to stay afloat is because we embrace capitalism and have a distinct lack of empathy. Ellen has a brain injury. She got caught in a gas station attack and got knocked out by the explosion. I mean, she's got some good luck since they didn't go through her pockets when she was knocked unconscious. Jervis was driving his motorcycle when he bumped a cadaver on the road. This story needs a lot more context. What happened to the dead person in the road? I mean, I guess I only deal with the living, so it's not my problem, but my curiosity is really making me wonder. It's five per limb, so luckily you've got two of them. Lucio, this is an enemy of our country. Don't let him in. He would escape his fate. Do it for me, your friend. We've got two psychopaths and this guy's gonna give me free money. There's not even a heal duration. I can't even argue this. Like, I can't even be like, yes, I, I run a hospital. It's my job to allow all those who need it to enter my business. Cause they'll be like, yeah, what about the lady that had chicken pox where you took her husband's money and left her to die? Whatever, for the purposes of gameplay, come on in. This lady has a cold. That's literally why she wants to come in here. She seems panicked. I think she is afraid of being ill. She might stay longer than planned. That is a negative. Nikki has diabetes. I guess in the end she's paying $2 a day, so I'll probably let her in. This gentleman is a foreigner. He is willing to pay a lot to help the hospital. I'm only seeing two fives there. That doesn't really seem like a lot. Don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna take it. Laureen has two fives, a blood clot is lethal if not treated with surgery. Laureen, I'm gonna do this not only because you have enough money, but because you're dressed like Chun-Li from Street Fighter. Jules is a doctor from the next village's field hospital. I mean, honestly, if he's lying and he ends up slitting the throats of a bunch of people in the hospital, it helps us out either way, so sure. Courtney, she's got lupus. She spent her life selling placebos instead of real treatment. <laughs> this lady's capitalism is stronger than mine. Come on in. Gadissa, healthy. He came to propose his help. He said that he could empty some beds. Making medical mistake. <laughs> Does this mean he's going to empty beds by, like, putting a pillow over people's heads? Whatever, I'm actually curious to see what this does. Three bucks for a headache for three days? That's a negative. A patient was murdered! We don't know who committed the crime, he'll bet! Score Grant. He's visiting. He says, finally you can fix your mistake. He is coming for the enemy soldier you're protecting. Allow him. It's ten bucks for nothing. So I got money from the enemy soldier and money from this guy. I knew I shouldn't have turned that dude away. Julia is a writer who has never known success. She decided to see the war for herself to find something to talk about. She has growing blindness. Her writing's so bad, maybe she'll have better success now that she can't actually see the keys that she's hitting. She also looks like she's wearing two banana peels as a top, so you know what? Come on in. Sir, Eugene Blaze just left and he paid with counterfeit money. That son of a bitch. Gabriel says he's just here to check the hospitalized people. I don't believe this, but I want to know what happens when we allow him in. Look at him look over to the side. He's shifty-eyed just in his photo. Tessa Orange used to be a singer until her vocal cords got damaged by the dust and smoke of a bombshell. I like how they gave this as the background, but her reason for being here is drug overdose. Unlike the heroin person, at least she didn't spend all of her money on drugs and she has enough to pay. Another patient was murdered. We still do not know who committed the crime. This person, this murderer, is doing us a fantastic service because it costs us money to keep the beds filled, but since they pay and then they immediately get murdered, it doesn't cost us anything to treat them. We're at negative three dollars right now. Carlos is gonna pay us 19 bucks. He's coming to escort his friend back to their bastard base. <laughs> you actually saved an enemy. Look, do you want the hospital of overt capitalism to still succeed or not? Carlos is single-handedly keeping this place alive. That's what I'm talking about. This guy's name is Harry Pita. <laughs> yes, syphilis. He is a very talented tailor, renowned for his silk dresses and his fantastic name. Harry, we become very skilled at treating people with sexual diseases. Go ahead and have a seat. 
Gabriel is very thankful for allowing him in even though he has no money. He gives you eight market value. No, he definitely had money. What the hell is this eight market value anyway? Did he like give us a kidney for us to sell? Is he like spreading his STD love around? Honestly, if he gives us more patience, that'll help us too. The one person over here is Ranger Walker. It's Walker, Texas Ranger. His problem is madness. The lack of clean water made him believe he was the strongest man in the universe. He's only got a five, but I have to allow him in because if I don't, he's going to roundhouse kick my doctorate right out of me. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm a real doctor at this point, but whatever. No one turns away Chuck Norris. Bub got stuck in a burning field. The fireman that found him thinks he started the fire himself. Sorry, Bub, your fantastic wardrobe can't save you today. <laughs> Aggravated diarrhea. <laughs> he has to be kept hydrated. Diarrhea is more lethal than we used to think. Great, amongst all of the patients with madness and psychosis and sexually transmitted diseases we're gonna have a dude that's gonna be spraying ass sewage all over the place another patient was murdered at this point it could be anyone someone probably ended up killing the aggravated diarrhea guy because they were tired of the entire hospital smelling like 400 year old boiled cheese they're dropping like flies man wow we raised 134 dollars from a starting money of five, being a bastard is the best. What happens if you reject everyone though? Sorry everyone. Hospitals closed. Honestly, I don't know when has to get murdered. Nothing, you just start with five bucks and you end with five bucks. I think that this game was an excellent example of how being a bastard is the only way to keep something that requires money afloat. The sad part is, is that when I was actually seeing patients, half of the people that came into the hospital ended up getting murdered. But hey, at least we got paid. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of You May Live. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.